Hello and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Ihanza. And if not, then welcome back. So today I am actually doing a lofted apartment, which I've never ever done before. I've never done a lofted apartment, which I don't know. I think I've just never really thought to do one. I mean, okay, I have done like apartments that have you know um platforms and things and you know when platforms were very new to me and I was like figuring them out I did use platforms a lot and I did use them in apartments but I wouldn't say they were like lofted apartments I feel like this is a proper loft so <laughs> yeah um but the theme for this build is very like airfy slash boho I don't know if it's too boho I think it is a lot more like earthy vibes like we've got lots of greens and yellows and lots of light colors I use lots of light toned woods and things like that and yeah I just I really like this build I think it's really super cute and of course we are starting off with the bedroom right now so as you can see for the bedroom I just like I don't know I kind of I kind of tried to add everything like that I thought you would need um and I just really tried to clutter it up and make it look very lived in so um there is a dresser in here I know that I am so bad at putting dressers in build so I was like I 100% need to make sure there is a dresser in here and there is um i did get rid of the windows so i replaced them with these ones which are from the machino pack i'm sure um if you don't have the tool mod i don't think um if you download this it will give you those windows i don't think it will um but it shouldn't be too much of a problem like the windows it came with there was nothing wrong with them i just really wanted to use those machino ones because i love them um but yeah i did use a curtain on them that i ended up getting rid of because um for some reason sometimes when you decide to repaper walls they decide let's get rid of all your clutter pieces and all your wall pieces so it did get rid of the curtain at one point and i didn't notice but i do end up replacing it after when i realized oh that happened but yeah we are moving on to the kitchen and for the kitchen i decided to go with cottage living i love the cottage living counters like the light ones um i think they're real actually i like all the cottage living counters but i don't know i just the light ones and the black ones are my favorite like i think the black ones look so nice and i think these like lighter ones look really nice i don't really tend to use the other ones but yeah i did go for them um because i have been wanting to use them a lot recently but i just kept not using them for whatever reason um in a lot of my recent builds so i decided we're gonna use them today we're actually gonna use them but yeah i decided to do a little like kind of breakfast table um and yeah there's there's a lot of seating in this build the idea i had for this build is maybe your sim is like studying in school i thought maybe it could be for a teenager or a young adult you could of course have two sims living in here um but there is only one bedroom so i would say you could maybe have like a couple living in here i was gonna say like you could have two best friends but i don't know if you'd want to have like two best friend sims living in the same bed although you could like rejig the kind of loft area and you could put two beds in i think that would be really really cute um that's actually making me want to do it just like see what it would look like but yeah i think that would be cute if you wanted to do that and you didn't want to have like this just for one sim but yeah i did only have one sim in mind i thought this would be a nice apartment for like um first moving out now i don't know if it's like starter home budget i will put the budget on the screen right now but um if not it should like it's kind of like meant to be your second home i had in mind so sh i would hope you had like enough money by this point um just to kind of get a nicer a nicer place now this is actually a needs tlc apartment which is really annoying and it's annoying that you can't get rid of that tr like trait through cheats i don't think you can anyway like anytime i've tried to do it it's told me that it's not possible which i don't know i really hate that because i just find the needs tlc so annoying so 
yeah let me know if you can actually get rid of it like if there's anything you can do because i would love to know but i do end up covering up the um, one of the electric boxes here with a bookshelf um i just really didn't like it the pipe on the other side i do not cover up but i do like hide it but i still make it so you can like access it if needed um if you do need to access that other one you would have to move that bookshelf out of the way but you know i was just kind of vibing with the way it looked right like right now i was thinking about functionality but i don't know it needs to see apartments just stress me out i <laughs> i can't like the um the thing that annoys me is even when you know it kind of gets fixed up and things they your sims still get really upset over the like mouse holes they still get really upset about them and there's nothing you can really do to get rid of them but yeah anyway <laughs> this is me doing the living room and i did turn the grid on for a bit just to make sure that there was space between all of the furniture because if you don't know if things aren't on the same like if things aren't a grid apart um and things are on the same grid it does kind of get mixed up and it does get a little bit um that's when things start to become what's the word like inaccessible what's the word not functional not functional so yeah i was trying to make sure that everything was functional because i am aware that this is a very small area that we're dealing with and yeah but here's me doing that little thing where i'm kind of covering it up but i'm not covering it up and it's kind of like a little cupboard i actually really like it i put a mirror in so it looks like there's a few more pipes in there and it gives the illusion that it's a little bit bigger so i really like that but here is me doing the windows and as you can see i added these little um curtains on them because i didn't realize that the other ones had gotten rid of so i do replace them at the end don't worry but here this is probably one of my favorite parts i don't know why like a little bit random but it's just a little desk area and I decided to use a shelf and then I sized down this little um this little unit, the little counter that it's sitting on, and I did size it down slightly more with the tool mod and then I just like covered it up with ottomans. So you shouldn't be able to see it anyway because I covered it up. Um but yeah, and then I just kind of put this little basket in the corner. Obviously that basket isn't um, you can't use it anyway. I just put it there for a little bit of decoration. And then I used these, which are from the Machino pack. And I don't know what they're called. Um, but you can see the part I'm in. So if you go into like decorations and you filter it by Machino, and then you go into the little dot 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 section, that's where they are. Um, I used those. And I just kind of made a little custom desk with it because I felt like it looked a little bit weird just because it was floating and I wanted it to, um, I wanted it to make sense. I was going to use the Eco Lifestyle uh, beams, but it didn't work properly because apartments are really high, like they have really high ceilings. So I don't know, I think it just would have looked a little bit a little bit strange but yeah um the build is actually almost done i think we just have this little area and then the bathroom to do and then at the end i go over and i decorate it with a little bit more like extra decorations like just anything i missed i do end up clearing up the kitchen a little bit more and things like that but yeah i um i really like this build please let me know if you want to see me do more like loft builds because as i said this was my first one and i really enjoyed it i think i don't know it just felt like different it just felt different doing something like this um as i said like i've done ones that have platforms in them but i just i wouldn't consider them loft apartments because they were really just a small like platform with a little step i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is like my first proper one i would say but yeah i did actually get rid of the windows in the bathroom um and i replaced them i ended up only using one window instead of two but yeah that would be another thing that might be a little bit different if you don't have the mod tool um but it should be fine like it it shouldn't be too much of a difference like the window is in virtually the same place it's just a little bit over so yeah it shouldn't be a problem um but yeah, this is the bathroom and I love the bathroom. I've done that little trick again with the Machino dividers and I used it with the 
uh, Discover University shower. I know that I, th- well, I think you can't get embarrassment with that shower, but I just thought it was cute to add the little dividers. I thought it looked um, really sweet. So yeah, we are coming to the end of this build. So I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because I post videos almost every day every week <laughs> i post shorts like almost every day and then i post at least like one video a week like these and yeah i just want to hear you know your thoughts and what you think of it and what you'd want to see me do i am honestly down to build anything whether it be a house or an apartment or um a community law or you know like anything like that i would love to do it for you But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!